Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading. If you're new to the channel, I do timeless readings, which means that whenever you find this video is when you are meant to hear the messages within it. And in case you subscribe, I upload my new videos for Taurus and Scorpio on Tuesdays. So I do just want to let you guys know that the deck that I'm using today is called the Modern Spellcaster's Tarot. And as always, if you're interested in getting a personal reading, my information is in the description below. But I do just want to give you guys a little bit more information on how I shuffle my cards. Sometimes the deck likes, or rather sometimes the cards like to flip over in the deck. I do see them, however, I usually only take cards that jump out of the deck, like these ones have, but usually if they jump out in groups that are too big, I'll go ahead and put them back in and continue shuffling. But my main goal here is to get you guys roughly eight or nine cards, and then we can get started on your reading. So I'm just going to try to pull out three or four more cards, and then we can get started. Let me just pull those cards that fell onto the ground. Alright. So I can already tell you guys that I think that you guys are dealing with a lot of like stubborn energy. I usually try not to derive too much meaning from how I shuffle the cards, but they are certainly acting up more for you guys than the other decks, or rather the other signs. So I'm thinking that for a lot of you guys, you're having a lot of difficulty in that regard. Um, maybe you're dealing with somebody who doesn't want to be terribly cooperative with you. And that's causing a lot of conflict. But either way, your overall energy here is the King of Cups. So I feel like there's somebody who is very King of Cups energy around, you know, center, at the center of your situation, right? You're kind of revolving around them right now instead of kind of revolving around each other, if that makes sense. So the King of Cups is a water sign, which can be Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. But beyond that, he's a very emotional man. And ideally, once a, you know, cup elemental person gets to the level of king or queen, they are in touch with their emotions in a way that is healthy and powerful, is a good word to use to describe it. They are able to understand other people's emotions as well as their own, and they're able to use that in a way that is powerful and uplifting, right? So somebody who is in lower vibrational energy uh, related to the king of cups or the queen of cups for that matter, is going to be very um, manipulative or emotionally immature. So it's very interesting that we have the Six of Cups in reverse with the Justice card. So the Six of Cups, the fact that it's in reverse, it tells me that because we have the Justice card here, you need to have the Six of Cups in reverse in order to reach some kind of equilibrium. I feel like there's some kind of unfairness going on or unjustness going on because we have the justice card here that is sort of implying you need this in order to reach equilibrium in order to reach that fairness right and i think that it's almost like somebody needs to let go of the past because you know you can see here that there's a man and a woman and they're looking on at these two children that are playing on the ground but it's very interesting because if you look at the way that the man and the woman are dressed and the way the children are dressed, they're dressed almost identically. So this to me doesn't feel like it's two children that are being watched by two adults. It feels like two adults that are reminiscing on their past as children, perhaps when they met. You know, nostalgia, going back to the place where they met. It looks like this is a beach. Um, it might not even be there. It might just be uh, the representation of the card. But either way, it feels like somebody needs to let go. Uh, and 
not even just like, and that doesn't mean that you need to throw away the connection or anything. It just means that you need to move forward. You need to look towards the future, right? You need to live in the present, not so much thinking about what could have been, what happened, um, you did this, I did that, right? That kind of energy. I feel like there's the need to really work together here, right? We have here the Six of Pentacles, but it feels very Three of Pentacles energy. Uh, this doesn't almost, this feels like they're working together more than he's like giving them, even though I know that the Six of Pentacles is representative of charity more than anything. But we also have the Eight of Wands here, which talks about that fast, passionate communication. So I'm thinking that for a lot of you guys, there's going to be this connection between being generous and being communicative. So I think that inversely, you know, the opposite is true. The less generous someone is, you know, the more they'll withhold communication for you. And I feel like withhold is kind of that magic word here because we have that charity card here. Either way, you might be receiving some kind of communication that they are going to withhold something from you. I'm hearing like it might be money for a lot of you guys. Uh, and it's very interesting because the Six of Pentacles, or sorry, Six of Cups energy is in reverse, even though this King of Cups energy is in the upright. So it feels like there needs to be a lot of this letting go of that kind of energy. And it perhaps it might, may even have been that that's how they were in the past. And now they're sort of making this transition to this new fresh energy where they're a lot more generous in their communication, which would be nice. Um... And that would honestly make sense too, because we have the Hermit card in reverse and the Hermit card in the upright talks about, you know, precisely this combination in the sense that um, the Hermit card goes deep within and doesn't really communicate with other people. They are very solitary, very alone. So it, in that sense, because it's in reverse, it almost feels like this person is coming out of that period. And as a result, they're a lot more open to communicating and a lot more generous in that regard. And I'm not surprised because we have the King of Wands, right? So the King of Wands is representative of fire signs, which are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And since we've been talking so much about communication, I feel like for a lot of you guys, I, it wouldn't be a stretch to say that your person has a fire Mercury, right? So the only way for you to have a fire Mercury is if you're a water sign a fire sign or an earth sign, right? Because of the way Mercury transits the sun and the way the earth transits the sun, if you are an air sign, you are unable to have a fire Mercury. But either way, regardless of what your Mercury placement is, this person has these kind of qualities. They're passionate, they're driven, they're outspoken, they're fast, they're communicators, right? And I feel like that's the energy that they're in right now, most likely because they came out of this emperor energy. And you have this Knight of Wands here, so it feels like this person is ready to make a move, is ready to move forward, ready to let go of the past. And I feel like that's the reason that we have this Sun card in reverse, right? Like, no more, no less. This has only been blocked because in the past, we had this energy of... I'm almost getting abandonment for a lot of you guys. Like, let me just, like, rephrase, the like, what I'm trying to say here. I'm getting like the imagery of like an abandoned house and I'm hearing like creaky floorboards and like rumors that that house might be haunted, right? That's kind of like the imagery that I'm getting right now. So it almost feels like for a lot of you guys, there may have been some kind of separation um, or a long period of time where the connection was not worked upon. You know, I, I think there's a saying that goes the worst thing that can happen to a building is neglect. And I think that for a lot of you guys, there was this period here where this person did go into a hermit mode, where they didn't really communicate, where they didn't really work on the connection. And as a result, the connection suffered, but I feel like they're trying to kind of make amends with that by coming through and bringing all this communication, uh, all this passion too, because we have the uh, Knight of Cups with, sorry, the Knight of Wands, yeah, Knight of Wands with the King of Wands and this generosity, and this Eight of Wands, which is also called the Arrows of Love, by the way. Um, and I feel like this is the really the pesky card here, uh, this card about letting go, really, this combination here with the Justice card. 
And I feel like they're coming back far more mature because we have the King of Wands and the King of Cups. And I feel like one, with all those energies finally coming together, you're going to have this Sun card in the upright to where, you know, you're happy because the Sun card is just that, the happiest card in the deck. But that was your reading first time around. Taurus, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like or a comment because it really helps out the channel. And I personally really love to know if these readings resonate with you guys. But like I said before, I upload my new videos for scorpio and taurus on tuesdays but in the meantime you guys are more than welcome to watch any of my other timeless readings that i have up on the channel and with that being said i hope to see you guys next time for next reading